Hi, I'm Caroline Silverstein. And I'm Becky Bingay. And this is California State Proposition 36. You'll see it on your ballot as allows felony charges and increases sentences for certain drug and theft crimes. It is an initiative statute. Becky, what question does Prop 36 ask of the voters? The voters are asked, should there be changes to felony laws and an increase in sentencing for certain drug and theft charges? What is the current situation? Currently, people convicted of a felony can be sentenced to county jail or state prison, depending on the crime and their criminal history. People convicted of a misdemeanor can be sentenced to county community supervision, county jail, and are given a fine. In 2014, a law was passed reducing some theft and drug crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. Can you give us an example? Sure. Shoplifting items worth less than $950 and drug possession became misdemeanors. If these are nonviolent crimes, the people convicted of these crimes serve time in county jail or receive probation rather than serving time in prison. So what does Prop 36 propose? Proposition 36 would change punishments for some drug and theft crimes in three ways. First, it would change some misdemeanors to felonies and increase those sentences. For example, theft of items worth $950 or less would become a felony if the person has two or more related past convictions. Enhanced penalties could be imposed if an offender steals, damages, or destroys property by acting together with two or more other offenders or by causing losses of $50,000 or more. The value of the property stolen in multiple thefts could be aggravated so that a felony can be charged. What other changes are proposed? Second, sentencing for fentanyl, cocaine, heroin, or methamphetamine possession could be lengthened and would earn felony sentences to be served in state prison and not in county jail. People convicted of possession of these drugs with two or more past convictions for related drug crimes could be charged with a treatment-mandated felony. What is a treatment-mandated felony? Offenders would receive mental health or drug treatment and be offered shelter, job training, and other services. If treatment is successfully completed, the charges would be expunged and there would be no jail time. If refused or failed, the offender would get up to three years in state prison. You mentioned Prop 36 would change things three ways. Yes. Third, it would require warnings to convicted hard drug dealers and manufacturers that they could be charged with murder if they continue to traffic in hard drugs and someone dies as a result. What would be the fiscal impact? Increased criminal justice system costs could potentially be in the low hundreds of millions of dollars annually, primarily due to an increase in state prison population. Increased local criminal justice costs costs potentially in the tens of millions of dollars annually due to court-related county jail, community supervision, and court-mandated health and drug-related workload. What are the supporters saying? Supporters are saying this bill would reduce much-needed accountability for repeat offenders. And there's a need to discard the pieces of the 2014 law that are making it harder for public safety officials to keep our communities safe. And what are opponents saying? So opponents say this ballot measure would cost billions of dollars by increasing the prison population during the time when California is already dealing with budget deficits. And this is a huge step backward that will do nothing to make our community safer, line the pockets of for-profit prison corporations, and take funds away from successful rehabilitation and recidivism programs. Can you tell us about campaign financing? Sure. $9.9 million has been contributed in support and $1.3 million has been contributed in opposition. See the top contributors on your screen. In conclusion, what does a yes vote and a no vote mean? A yes vote would approve changing certain drug and theft charges to felony laws and increasing sentencing. A no vote would oppose changing certain drug and theft charges to felony laws and increase sentencing. Thank you, Becky. You're welcome, Caroline.